Well, we're with 60-year athletic director at Oregon State, Scott Barnes, and we're talking about the Reeser Stadium construction. You know, are we going to see you pick up a sledgehammer here today, Scott? Probably not a sledgehammer. All right. All we're, right. we're beyond that. All right, power saw, maybe power saw. All right, so we have this construction of Reeser Stadium. It's happening during the season. Normally, when you talk about a renovation of a stadium, construction, etc., we're talking about off-season, we're talking about off-site, and this is happening in season. What went into the logistical planning of this? Well, quite a bit, and, and obviously the reason was uh, the, the schedule to be open by summer of 23. We needed to, to continue to work through the season, and, and uh, when you think about all the logistics, you think about uh, the fan uh, experience, how do, how do you pull that off in a really good way, um, and having it buttoned down for game day. Uh, during the week, this looks very different than game day, and so our, our design build team has done a great job of making sure it's buttoned up and ready for game days. Now you're bringing fans closer to the action than any other stadium in college football. I think it's 80 feet. How's the insurance policy for <laughs> It's really going to be a great, uh, great experience, not only for our fans below below Beaver Street, but uh, just above where the premium seating sits. Uh, that premium seating will be as close to uh, uh, the field as any any in college football, and that gives just the fan experience for that opportunity that close to the field in, in premium seating is pretty special. And how pumped they, I mean, the Beavers are coming off their first bowl in, what, nine years last year. Jonathan Smith has the program headed in the right direction. How much does that help? you know, kind of give the momentum to the project that we're looking at. There's no question, timing couldn't be better. Uh, confluence of, of the, the progress of the actual football program and that momentum has shown up in the incredible enthusiasm our fans have had for this project from the fundraising side to gobbling up all the premium seating. All right, so we have the hard hats, the vests, we've heard the hammering. We wanna see some of the action happening, right? We wanna see the views. Let's check out for ourselves this construction here. So we got in the elevator and told them to take us to the stratosphere. Here we are on top of the Construction Air Research Stadium. I mean, how cool is this to be able to look around, have that panoramic view? And, and what says Oregon more than, than looking at the greenery and, the, and the, the trees and the firs? Well, it's phenomenal. And as you think about how we've designed this west side upper concourse, uh, it is open in the back. So your uh, fans can grab their favorite uh, food and beverage and actually walk out to the back and look look to the west at the at the coastal range. So lots of viewing opportunities. We've taken full advantage of that uh, uh, because of the beautiful surroundings. Still got more to see. Continue the tour, shall we? What was the biggest thing for you, the biggest part about putting a stamp on this when you guys went about drawing up the plans and following through with the renovation? So everything we've done in the premium seating area, in, in what we've done with concessions and, and, and other things are informed by the fans uh, and, and their, uh, their wants and desires as we, we surveyed them. So really proud of the fact that we listened to our fans as we designed this. Well, Scott, I appreciate the tour and thank you for best of luck completing this. And also, I do already prematurely accept the invitation to come right back here to the premium level when you open it. I don't we're, want anybody to tell me no. I want to come back here and say, hey, Danny, come in here. And we're going to celebrate reason. with a, a toast with a, a bottle of champagne to open this up, okay? Sold. I love it, Scott. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thanks, Danny.